Hey guys, this is Naresh. So today we will learn one more important topic in APM. So if you know that whenever we are working on APM, we have to start our APM server. So that's a compulsion, right? But when you're working on any projects in your company, it may be possible that you don't have to start your APM, but still your script work for your mobile testing. So how it happens? Okay, see. APM uh, you can say is just a server or is just an application and any application we can go ahead and start from our Selenium script also. So this is the way we can start this APM server through our script so that we don't have to click on that and manually run the APM server. So how can we do that? So for that I have written some code and I will just walk you through that code and uh, I have written that code into my blog also if you want you can just copy that code and just try it out this is something which you have to do only once in your code and next time it will start your APM server by your own so if you're working on a framework so it's better that you know you create these kinds of code so that you don't have to you know uh, run your APM script uh, APM server manually if you're working locally if you're not working on script just for learning purpose that's okay you can turn it on but in the framework, you have to turn it on through the script. So how do we do that? So for that, uh, what I have done here, if you see here, this was our setup program, right? Okay. So this is all the setup which we have set in our first session of APM. All right. So here I have given one condition. So before we start our server through this, before we go ahead and instantiate our driver with the Android driver, what I have did, just after giving the capabilities this is the line which i have given which says if check if the server is running on the port 4723 so this is a method which will check my server is running or not if it is already running then we have to stop the server okay and once the uh, server is stopped we have to start the server all right that's it these are the three line of code which you have to put in your setup method okay and when our you know class is getting over that is after class i have given the name as tear down we have to quit our driver and we have to stop the server okay see these are the methods which are we have written as a custom method so here you can see only three line of code you have put but when you're working on framework may you may need to create a utility you know and utility which has the implementation of these methods so i have done i have already created that into this file but maybe in your framework you have to you know implement this into that utility itself okay so if i show you see uh, this start server and stop server method here i have written at the top so this is the start server method so just understand this first and then maybe you can you know do it on your computer and i have also code in my blog site which i will give in the description section you can just you know uh, copy from there or you can take a reference from this video <coughs> okay <clears throat> all right so if you see here here we are defining a command line okay so this is an object of the command line class okay so what it do see basically when we are running the server we can even run the server through the command prompt if i show you the command so basically these are the commands which i can give in my command prompt and it will be able to run the server okay so that's what we are doing here we are just trying to run these command from the command line class so i have created an object of command and I have created a command line. I have uh, given a command line class here. And this, I am passing this, uh, the path of my node.exe. See in your computer, because whenever we have set up, I have told you that we have to install node.js, right? So what you have to do, once your node.js is there, there is a node.exe file, okay? So you have to give a path of this file, okay? Then you have to add certain arguments here. And these arguments will be the path of your main.js. Okay. See, this is uh, the main.js. If I show you in C drive. All right. And in users. Then my user directory. And here, app data, roaming, APM. Because once when you install the APM server, you know, these are the folders which get created. 
okay so just a second roaming npm okay do we have that npm and then node modules then apm then build and then lib and this is main.js okay so basically whenever you click on that uh, you know button of start the server this is the file which get called so we have to give the path of this file here okay all right what else and after you give a path you have to give one some more arguments like you have to give the address of the server so you know that we are starting our server on this ip okay we can start on some other ip also but this is the default ip which is used for apm so we will give this address here and for the port we will give 4723 which is also a default port for my apm so this is the way you have defined the command line arguments all right now so now after that we have to create an object handler and which its class would be default execute result handler okay and then we have to create an object of default executor all right see don't worry about this code i understand at this point of time you know it will be difficult to understand these classes for now just remember that these are the classes which we are using to execute our command okay and uh, we are setting the exit value as one okay what we are doing right now now we are trying to execute our command through this handler okay so we are giving execute dot execute and here i am passing this command which i have created here and i am passing this handler which i have created here okay then i am giving some weight okay so after you know calling this command start server my server gets started okay but once my server is started it's my responsibility that i close it because i am not handling it manually so from the code also i should close it so how would i do that it's a very simple code in this stop server i am calling runtime class so you know if when we have worked on uh, one of our video uh, where we are working with the auto id okay so we were trying to execute the auto id script in the code and we have reused the same class runtime right because what this runtime class do it can go ahead and you know it can uh, run the commands through our uh, own selenium and right now we are trying to run the command to kill that node.exe which we have invoked earlier this node.exe because it will be running in our command prompt so we are trying to you know do a kill that node.exe so we will give runtime.runtime .runtime equal to runtime.get runtime and runtime.execution okay don't worry about this try catch for now so it will automatically comes up when you type it it will automatically comes up that it need to you know uh, like uh, you know you have to give try catch so you can give try catch there for exception handling okay so this is a stop script and there's one more additional script we need to create just to check if the server is running or not so what is the logic here we have given a boolean value is server is running true or false okay then we have created a socket here okay a network socket which we have created and here we are defining the socket and we are giving our port number the port number which we are you know working upon that would be 4723 so this is a port number we have received in the method so we are giving a port number here and we are closing the socket okay so let's say you know if in case if when you assign this socket a port number so if my uh, you know uh, my apm service always ra al already running so this will be a live port okay and whenever i give this command it will give me an exception okay exception would be you know something is already there on this port so if it give an exception it will come to a catch block okay and if it could come to catch block that's mean i got an exception because that's port in use so i will say that you know is server running is true all right and at the end of the program i am returning is server running so if it got true it will return true but if it does not go true it will return false which i have given in the beginning of the program so that's it so three program one is to check if the server is running or not second is to start the server through my command line argument okay which i have run through executor and third to kill the uh, server through the runtime execution i'm killing my node.exe file all right and what have we have to do now as soon as we have given our all the capabilities 
we have to check if the server is running or not because it might possible that we forget to close the server uh, so we have just put an additional check here if the server is running first stop the server okay then start the server that's it and in the last tier down we are calling stop server by default okay now let's see i have not you know open any uh, like i have not open any apm server okay but now we will try to run our program so let me just open visor so this, this is my uh, mobile so see i always work on you know the actual mobiles i don't prefer to work on the emulators or simulators which have been provided by android and there are many emulators available in the market also like genie motion and there are many many emulators available okay but those are not the actual devices those are just the emulator of some of the devices and you never know you know some test works on emulator but does not work on actual devices so in your company also if you're working prefer to work on the actual devices only when you're working locally but when you're working you know on cloud on jenkins at that time you can prefer some other tools like there are some tools like perfecto in which you can uh, run your there will be mobile devices there but just remember the perfecto which i am talking about it's not an emulator because perfecto is a company what they do they have created an entire infrastructure in that we they you know uh, they insert the real devices into the system so they have hundreds of devices placed all over the all over world and they have created different centers and they plug in the real devices there and they are just extending those devices on the website like a perfecto like this visor so visor the whatever you are showing here it's not the you know uh, like it's, it's the actual device it is not kind of an emulator so this is the same concept with perfecto also so they have hundreds of devices placed at some central place and they just show you on the screen they just extend you through some way through visor or some way and they just show you on the screen but those are the actual devices so you can work on those two if your company has taken the license from those company but if not i would always prefer to use actual devices as compared to the emulator or genie motion or any other thing okay all right so what we will do we will just try to run this program and just see if we are let me just clear that first if we are able to run okay so it's running I have just one test to type something. Can you see this? This is the APM server. So all these things which you see here, we get into the APM server. So these are all the APM server logs, right? And let's open this. See, APM server logs are running and even my uh, you know application also working. See, so that's mean that we are able to successfully run our scripts without even opening this uh, APM server okay because we are controlling this APM server through our code see all these logs are APM if you notice that these are the logs you get in APM server and right now it is you know doing everything on our console all right so I hope uh, this video was helpful for you to know that how can we run our uh, APM server through script if you like the video, please hit on the like button. Alright, thank you.